All right, Mac One coach of, <laughs> Mac coach of the year, Penny Dean. In a year of many firsts, yet another one, a win today over Akron, and you're headed to the final. First, just talk Ever. about talk about the the win overall and how you're feeling right now. I, I'm feeling like fantastic, but a nervous wreck too. <laughs> what can I say? But it is the first time, and it, for a while in the match, long about I don't know when it was, but it looked like okay, we're gonna go. I know Katie Brazovich will win, and then she lost the second set, and I'm like. <laughs> and also, Katie Grubb had like a number of match points and, and couldn't get them right away, but right. she hung in there really tough and finalized her match. And Nikki was winning hers like I, she had one match point and maybe another one when right. the match ended. So I mean, but it's just so nerve wracking. <laughs> We're all just totally, totally excited. It's the first time Bowling Green's ever been in the finals, so we're going to do it. Well, that's what you kind of mentioned. What I was gonna touch upon is that you know, for a while, you're looking pretty good, and then at some point, you know, Katie Grubb won her match, but Katie Brozovich and Nikki both went to a third set, and you know, you only need one of them to win, but yet it was tied. It's yet yet again, I guess we're talking about it's a match that looked much closer than maybe the final score looks, but but then you know, all of a sudden, you kind of went from like both of those kids, you know, Nikki gets a match abandoned, yeah. but I mean, both of them took the lead. I mean, can you just maybe talk about that, both of those kids well, battling? I mean, they know okay. there's not quite the pressure of being the only one out there, but they know, like, they BG know. needs a win. Yeah. Um, I think, well, A, they just draw it out so the coaches can have more stress. I think That's so. probably the first and thing. And the support but no, staff. You know what? Honestly, when Katie and Nikki were still playing, I mean, I don't think you could have two tougher competitors out there. And I think to people that really were watching, two things. One is our team wanted it more. You know, Akron's been there before. They looked a little worn down, and I think our team wanted it more and had more desire. And then one more thing is, I mean, we had our fans here, and our fans are loyal and awesome, and I think they helped pull us through. All right, so now uh, you got Miami tomorrow, and you had a <laughs> five-hour match with yeah. them in the regular season. That, but just, I mean, you just talk about, I guess, at this point of the year, obviously you want to win, but yeah. you just, I assume it's also nice you, you get, if nothing else, one more day, another match yeah, for these. like Maddie said, she goes, well, that wasn't my last singles match. <laughs> I lived to fight another day, and she's happy about that. And I know we'll battle Miami again, but... We can beat them or they can beat us um, and I know I mean I know we'll have huge desire and go forth and do the best we can and it might even end up being inside tomorrow I don't right. know. Right. All right. Well I'm just glad one more thing. Okay. Like toward the end and we're up in both matches it's like looking pretty like it's gonna rain at this yeah. point and that's a forecast and I'm just thinking oh my goodness I hope it doesn't rain because we just need to stay out here and finalize this match. All right, and you did. Congratulations, and we will catch up with you tomorrow. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Bye.